Hey YouTube, welcome back to my vlog and this time we're going to be looking at having my conservatory roof replaced with a rail roof. This roof is going to be removed and a proper roof is going to be installed which will make it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer and make this conservatory usable all year round. Let me give you a little bit of background on why I'm replacing this conservatory roof. So it's about six years ago I started finding water on the floor conservatory. So upon investigation I found it was coming from there which is a ceiling mount for the light and it was dripping down the light onto the floor and into what we have now which is a bucket there. How that never tripped the electrics I don't know. So I immediately turned off all the electrics and removed the light so it wasn't any further danger. Now it wasn't long after this that I also started running down this wall here down the doors and again onto the floor which we now have a cloth in place to soak all that water up. Now as I mentioned earlier this room gets freezing cold in the winter, it's, it's really cold in here now and boiling hot in the summer. So luckily we have an aircon unit which actually heats or cools the room as required but that takes about an hour for that to actually do its job. So what's popular here in the UK at the moment is to actually get this polycarbonate roof removed and replaced with a proper roof that is built to building rigs. This then retains the heat in the winter and keeps the room cooler in the summer. And that's what we're going to do. Once the roof is in place, that means we could then remove these doors here so we could have this fully open to allow access straight into there and it would make it like one great big room that almost includes the kitchen. So yes, we've made the decision, so it's all happening and I'm bringing you guys along for the ride so you can see exactly what's involved in getting this job done in case you want to get it done to your conservatory. So first job is, let's get the old roof off. We were playing with fire Everything turned to dust When we aim to fly higher we That's it guys, there we go. It took about two hours to get the whole roof off. What a team. It's about 100 of them working here. All of us place by cans. Absolutely brilliant. And look at all this stuff that's been delivered as well. All the insulation. That's all the stuff that came off the old roof. Loads more stuff over there and all this plasterboard everything tons of stuff so it's ongoing so we'll go back to the time lapse and watch them putting the roof back together just talking to the guys here and apparently all this stuff is actually pre-cut when it comes from the factory so they've assembled this roof on the factory floor disassembled it sent it here basically it's just like one big jigsaw puzzle the guy has got his paper down there that is the actual diagram of where every part goes even the insulation has been pre-cut to go into three all different parts of the frame it's amazing they should have this up in no time The roof frame is now on and now it's a matter of popping the uh, big wedge of insulation in between all parts of the frame. Now all the insulation is in, well, now the insulation is in place and now we can put the boards on top of the insulation and on top of that will go the actual tanks. It feels good, a new beginning, we are free at last. That's it, I've actually completed it now, it's uh, half past four on the night. They started at nine o'clock in the morning, by half past four they've got the roof to this state. That is absolutely superb. So what we've got left to do now is to actually uh, put the tiles on. I'll show you the tiles here, it's getting a little bit uh, dark now, but let me just flip the camera around. So these are the tiles that we're going for. So these are sort of metal, metal based with uh, this stuff on the top. So, yep. So they'll, they'll cut all into shape, but they do, probably can't see, but they do, they do little lines there, like they're individual tiles. And when they're on, they look really, really good. You'll see them in the end anyway. We'll continue recording tomorrow. Day two. A little bit windy today, so hopefully it's coming uh, over okay on the mic. And yeah, we're left with the white boards on the roof and today they will be doing all this lot which is getting the tiles onto the roof and to actually make it waterproof. Wait for the guys to get here, we'll get the time lapse camera on and you can see what happens then. A bit of a close-up of where we are at the moment. 
So it's all boarded out, obviously. Got all the leading to do when they put the tiles on. Sun shining right at us. Let's soon get further back here. Yeah, looking good. Electrician's now been and he's wired up for the uh, spotlights we're going to have. So we're going to have a load of spotlights around here. So there'll be, there'll be a load just down that centre part there. Line of three I think it is. And then we've gone round the outer edge there of the kind of uh, circle. And then we're going to have two rows of lights down here. So this will be the dining area. So that's all face fix, ready for the plasterboard to come and do his bits. There we go, so that's the end of day two. It's quite windy. I'm hoping that my wind resistant microphone is uh, picking this up and not making it too noisy for you. But yeah, so they've done a lot of the tiling. So they haven't done the, uh, old, I'll be showing the call, like edge cappings or something that go down there. They haven't done those yet. So we're not fully waterproof yet. So um, we're not forecasting any rain tonight. So that should be good. They've got the lead in to do at the top edge there, as you can see. So I've got all that to do yet, yeah, and obviously the fascia boards and the guttering to go along the edge. But yeah, this isn't bad for the end of day two. So all done for today. Uh, as I said, the electrician has been in now. So tomorrow we've got the um, plaster coming and he's going to be uh, installing these boards down here onto the inside of the roof, ready for him to actually plaster it. Well, the day after I would expect. So he's coming tomorrow. So the guys should be back again tomorrow to finish off the rest of the roof. And yeah, that'll be day three and it'll be well on the way. I think the plasterer is going to start plastering Thursday or Friday, something like that. So that's it for today. We'll come back again tomorrow. The next day. It's day three of the build now and we've got the plasters in there now, putting the boards on, on the roof. I've got that on time lapse. We'll see that in a minute. And the guys are back outside again, completing the tiling. And obviously they're going to have the fascia boards and the gut rinse put on. So I've got that on time lapse. So let's go watch the roof. That's it, end of day three, and now they've actually got the gutterings on, the fascias, cappings are they called, the ridge cappings and everything, so, um, well, most of it, they've just got a bit more um, fascia and a bit of guttering to do with this side here, uh, but most of it is actually done, so the outside is nearly complete. I'll just flip the camera around, give you a little uh, look at that. Here, anyway, I've just got a bit further back now, I can kind of see that in full. Lovely. And also the plaster has been internally, uh, it's a little bit dark, you should hopefully still see it. He's just got a little bit more to do up there. So I don't know if he's, oh, he's got a load of board here, so I don't know why he's missed that piece off. I think maybe he ran out of time and he's getting a bit dull in here. So um, so what we get tomorrow is electrician is going to come back and you see the, uh, he's cut holes there for the lights. He's going to uh, cut them out of the plasterboard and then when he's done those, then the plaster can come and plaster all of this area and make it all absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to that, to see what that's like when it's being plastered. But yes, that's the end of day three, we're at that position now. So day four, tomorrow when they come back, say electrician, well, the plaster is coming back to finish the bit of board he's got there. You see that, yeah, so the board that is missing there is gonna come back and finish that, and the electrician is gonna come and cut out all the holes for the actual light fittings. And then the plaster, I think he's probably gonna be plastering tomorrow, so he can crack on doing that while the guys outside just tidy up and finish off with the little bits there. All looking good. See you tomorrow. Day four. So end of day four and the plasterer has now completed all the boarding. So he's just uh, put some edgings in and just done a little bit of patching where need be. So he's got this all prepped now and this is going to be all prepped and ready to be actually skimmed uh, tomorrow. So he's going to come back and skim all that. And he's also put most of the boards in for the actual short walls as well. So he's done those and he's got those done around here 
So that's all good to go. So this is good to go tomorrow for the plaster. So yeah, this is day four at this stage now. Uh, they just finished that little bit of guttering that was missing on the outside. The outside is completely finished and those guys have now gone, so it's just over to the plaster. Three days later. So it's a few days later now and they've come back and they've completed this bit from the outside. And the plaster has been unplastered all the inside now, so that's all completed. He's done all the lower walls as well, so they've all been done. So everything has now been done very echoey now. So next job is, for me, is get the paints done. So I've got to paint on the ceiling. Electrician's going to come back, fix all the electrics, indoor lighting and sockets. That's all boring, I don't need to show you that. So yeah, job is now done. It's all completed. Uh, thought I'd just do this for a bit different content, really. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos. Till the next time, stay safe.